Right, Dave here again. Just wanted to share with you the uh, new rocket stove boiler I'm in progress of making at the moment. If you look down inside, you can see those tubes running across, and there's 12 of them running backwards and forwards. And uh, that will be the heat exchanger. And as you can see on the top here, we just have to move across here. Right, that's the flow and returns there. That's half inch pipe. Um, it's an MF elbow with uh, an ordinary elbow on the other side, and they're all fully welded round so there's no leaks. And so, what you got there, this one, the bottom, is the return. This one will be the flow when it's uh, finished. Uh, you'll also notice that. This is not made out of box section. That bit's box, this bit's not. This is out of quarter plate. And the reason for that is that that will give me about 10 years life. And you'll notice that it's got its little gap here, which is 12 millimeter gap. And that's about as far as I've got at the moment. There is the other piece that will go on the top, which is the part for the chimney. So when it's uh, stood up, we'll just hook it up for you. Right, now you can see that. Right, we'll come out a little bit. Right, I'll give you some sort of idea now. Still using the same dimensions that I've told you before. This is the chimney, right, that sits on there, like so, so that goes across there, this piece goes on there, and as you can see, there's a hole in the bottom, but that hole in the bottom is sealed on the top of here when you fully weld that, and also what I've done, I've got a, uh, a nice, a nice seal in here, which is uh, glass rope I've put in there to make sure there's no no fume leaks. Uh, that, that's about it for the moment. Until we get the rest of it welded up and some nice new feet put on it. Um, but you have to be careful using water. Um, it can be dangerous. That's the return. That's the flow. Um, so that's as far as the boiler's got at the moment. Uh, there'll be another video later on to show you what's going on. Uh, this is Dave signing off for now. Don't forget the bits at the bottom. Uh, sub subscribe or thumbs up or thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment at the bottom, um, not a problem. Uh, what was it? Go Joe. Um, he was asking a question. and I hope he, he listens to this video. He will understand. Right. The dimension I gave you, which is there which is four times that diameter to get that dimension. If you do cut it down, you, it still works, but not as efficient. So what you're doing is you're cutting the efficiency rate down. I've, I made one at uh, 300 mil there and does not perform as good. That's why we've got that dimension. And that works on all types of stuff. Now he wanted to make a six inch or an eight inch and he didn't have much room, but if you cut it down, it won't work as good. And that's what it's all about, really. That does perform first time, and that was to help you build one that works first time. This is Dave signing off. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.